to set up Aftership on your Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up Aftership and also install that app on your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit your store within Shopify. Sign into your account on Shopify and you will see right there the dashboard. If you don't have an account within Shopify, you need to uh, create one or sign up for a account. After you have set everything, now we are going to proceed on how we can install the app. Now we are on the Shopify dashboard. So we have the search bar right there popping. We are going to click on it. And then all we have to do is to type in Aftership. Aftership. And now we are going to click on enter. Now we are going to search for the app onto or into your Shopify app store. Right there, we are going to see right there and seek for the app. As you can see, I have miswritten the word aftership. And here we have it. And these are the correct result. We have a lot of right there aftership email, marketing SMS, TikTok shop, and etc. So all we need to do is to install the original app, which is Aftership Order Tracking. So we are going to click on it and the um, preferably set or the preferable method using this app is tracking naturally the orders as the name said. For example, Aftership. Aftership means that after the shipping, we're going to follow these orders and also see them. Now we're on the page. And we are going to click on install right there. It will take you to a page that will let you authenticate the installation or permit that integration. Now we need to click on install here. We are going to see the app right there. And as you can see, it will demand the connection between our shop by store and also the aftership. So Right there, we have sent a six character code to this email address. Please enter it below right there and verify your identity. All right here, a little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses, accounts, and also codes are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So right there, I'm going to check my mailbox or my inboxes. And I'm going to put the six character code and I will be back. Now, after I have put the code right there, I have completely and successfully set the connection between my store and also my Aftership account. As you can see, we have the dashboard and everything is set. The first thing that you need to do is to follow the instructions and also the steps within that account or also this dashboard. Now we have the first thing we are going to manage everything in one place. You're going to import your shipment to get started right there. Choose how you want to import your shipment to your tracking dashboard. We have right there three options. Connect store, import by CSV, which is a CSV file right there or XLS file. And also we can enter them manually. So the store is connected, but there's no recent shipments found. So we are going to connect the store and see again if everything is set. Now, normally we are going to see right there the integration. The app is also installed right there. We are going to set it right there and we are going to open it. We are going to check if everything is set and also is ready. This is just a confirmation and nothing less. Now I am going to see right there and as you can see the Everything is set from this dashboard. We have seen this dashboard. Now, here we have the left side bar. We have the home, the tracking dashboards for the shipments and also the orders. As you can see here, we have a testing courier right there. It is delivered. The shipment was successfully delivered to this address because I Honestly, I didn't deliver this one, but the uh, platform has decided to set a courier and send it to this particular address. Now we have also the orders. Whenever you are going to set something or the clients right there are going to 
order something from your store for example the products and these products are going to be coded and set for tracking codes this particular product let's take this as an example we take let's say a code of one 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 for ones and these four ones are the particular code for that product so the platform of aftership will receive and set a code of 1111 to this specific order and it will let you see right there that it is fulfilled or unfulfilled or here partially fulfilled right there this is for the manual settings the product right there is going to be created or set by you and also the shipment is going to be from there here we have the tracking this is a tracking platform and nothing more we're going to set the clients and give them the tracking code they can track their codes or their or their uh, their orders from this platform and also you can know where is exactly your product because you're going to send that product overseas for example and you will not get uh, some information or further information after a problem is uh, begin for example you're going to see right there the notification for each specific uh, product or each specific tracking we have the tracking pages you can set or create a tracking page and you can add it to your shopify store for example you can add a widget you can also add a embedding right there page to your shopify store as you can see we have right there the page of aftership and you can see right there it is set track package with tracking number this is our tracking right here it is set and this is going to be added into your page right there we are going to create a specific page for that one you can set this link right here you can set it and also you can change the page or update the page url you can set for example redirect customers to your proxy url this is a premium feature and you can right there set a iframe code these are the aftership for example for your store when you click and you are going to be direct directly to that specific aftership page so each individual or each client can set the uh, right there for example the previous one was one 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 they will receive the notification also all the uh, historic or the history of the shipping of that specific product as you can see they can track fedex ups dhl usps and more carrier that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one